Hey guys, it's Janice. How are you? I just wanted to do a check-in and see how everybody is doing. Um, how are you doing? How are you feeling? What is going on in your world? Okay, because I don't know what is going on with the energy, with the water, the air. I have no idea, but I have just been bombarded with people in the last five days, six days, almost a week um, of I got to get out. I can't take it anymore. I'm at my wit's end. What do I do? Oh my gosh, help me get out of this relationship. And I'm like, oh my gosh, sometimes, you know, you get a couple of people who are going through stuff, then you get a couple more, but like it, this last week, I don't know what is going on, you know, energetically in our world or whatever the case may be, but what do you do? What do you do to get out? Okay, so I have some pointers for you. Um, if you want to leave a relationship that is abusive, narcissistic, controlling, whatever the case may be, one, two, or three, or all of the above, protect yourself first, okay? One of the things that I think a lot of people do is when they want to exit a relationship, they tell that person, hey, I'm unhappy, I'm tired, I don't wanna be in this relationship anymore, I wanna leave, I'm, I'm out, you're a piece of crap, you know, whatever, I don't care what you say, but you're better off not to say anything at all. Don't say anything. You've got to have your plan in motion without telling anybody that you have a plan in motion. Tell your friends, tell your family, don't tell the person that you're getting ready to exit the relationship with about your plan. That person will make it impossible for you to leave or threaten you so much that you're gonna be so terrified and so fearful that you're gonna allow that person to control your exit. Don't do that, okay? Less is more. Less is more because the more that you tell somebody, the more ammunition they have to throw back at you and tell you all of these horrible things that are gonna make you think and make your mind go crazy going, Oh my gosh, what if that's true? I heard so many things that was going to happen to me. I, I, everything under the sun, I, whatever. I, I don't even care anymore. Right now it's a joke, the stuff that I heard, okay? But it's not a joke to you guys because you guys are in it, all right? So I know what you're feeling because I was there. But I can tell you on the other flip side of it all, the other side of the coin, oh God, life is beautiful. <laughs> it is so amazing. It is incredible. Don't tell anybody your plan unless it's somebody very close to you, a best friend, a family member, whatever the case may be, okay? Plan your escape. Put money aside. First and foremost, whether it's $5, $10, 20 bucks, whatever the case may be, put that money aside, give it to a friend, open a bank account that nobody knows about, get yourself a secret credit card that nobody knows about, if you have a cell phone on the same plan as your soon to be ex, cut it off. Well, cut it off to a point. Keep your cell phone, but get yourself a second one, not a burner phone. Get yourself a plan with another company other than what you have. So, so for example, if you have Verizon with your spouse or significant other, go to T-Mobile, get your own plan, okay? Uh, AT&T, uh, whatever the case may be. Get your own plan because that person is monitoring your phone calls and seeing who you're calling, you're texting, um, who you're video chatting, whatever the case may be. Don't do that. Once you have your own cell phone, okay, don't bring it around the person you're leaving. Leave it at work. Leave it in uh, a, a secret place in your, in your house somewhere that nobody will find, okay? You have to have a way to access emails, which is another point, open a brand new email account with completely different passwords, something this person would never understand, never even think of, all right? And don't let that person know that you have separate emails. Open a bank account, okay, at a completely different bank because mishaps happen, okay? You go to a local bank and they know that you guys have a joint bank account together and that person may say, well, yeah, oh, he or she opened their own private account, which they shouldn't do, it's a violation of privacy, but sometimes it happens, all right? Start planning your own secret getaway by starting to use things in motion that you are going to have to separate anyway in due time. Because the reality is when you divorce somebody or separate from somebody, 
you're not going to have joint bank accounts. You're not going to have a joint cell phone, cell phone account. You're not, you're just not going to do it. You have to start separating things. So start doing it pre exit. Okay. Have that stuff lined up so that if something does happen or you need your cell phone, you have one, you have one. I know some of this stuff costs money, but cut the Starbucks off three times a week and put the money towards something like that. Instead of buying lunch every day, start bringing your lunch. Do whatever you got to do to preserve just five bucks, 10 bucks, six bucks, whatever the case may be every day and put it somewhere because you will be blown away at how quick that money that you save adds up. If you have it is designated as a don't touch me fund, my freedom fund is what I called mine. Okay. Um, do it. And that way you're going to have some sort of sense of independence away from the control that you've been under for so long. Okay. Um, get yourself, I, I know a lot of people share cars and it's hard, but get yourself your own car, finance it in your own name. If you can, a lot of times you can do a lot of this stuff without your spouse. I know a lot of it's hard because maybe one person hasn't worked for 20 years or 10 years and they can't get a loan because they don't have a job. Well, make it a goal. Okay. Get your own job. If you don't have a job, do a part-time job, give you that four hours, six hours a day, just to get away and have your own space of clarity. Because if you're going to stay stuck in the controlled environment, you're never going to understand what it feels like to taste freedom. Then you're going to surround yourself with a ton of people that are, are going to support you. No matter what your decision is, they're going to support you and they're going to be there for you. All right. Um, start taking pictures of stuff in your home. Take a picture of the living room, take a video, send it to a friend, delete the video, take a picture of your spouse's retirement account, send it to a friend, delete your photo, and then go into your deleted photos and then delete it permanently. Okay. Because what happens is a lot of people have these face IDs. I love face ID. I think it's amazing. Right. But I'm also not around anybody that's going to grab my phone and hold it up to my face when I'm sleeping at night and open my phone. Okay. I've got people in my life. I can trust a hundred percent with everything, everything I own my, my entire being, but I wasn't like that before. And Apple trackers or, um, air tag trapper trackers, watch your car, watch your car. It is so easy to, to get on Amazon and order a tracker for 20 bucks or a four pack for what? 80 bucks. Check your car. You can be tracked on your cell phone. People have the find a cell phone or, or if you share your location one time and forget to turn it off, that person knows everywhere you're going. And I get it for some families with children and stuff. I think it's a great thing to have, but not when you're in a healthy relationship, you don't need to track people. Why is it that people want to track where other people are going? It's control. It's control. It's total control. Okay. So be careful about that. And just remember, no matter where you go, you are on camera. You are on video somewhere. Somebody is, whether you're walking into a Walgreens or a CVS or a grocery store, there's cameras everywhere. And you're being watched and people may have a friend at the grocery store and send a video of you walking in there. It's just, it's sick, the mindset of what these people do. But I want you to think you've got to be smarter than the person that is controlling you. And if you just take a step back and think in a healthy manner, and you cannot do that, you cannot think health in a healthy manner if you're in a relationship with a controlled person. I know that I was there. I'm not there anymore. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, you can live a free life, but you've got to start manifesting what you want in your life. If you want freedom, start taking the secret steps to freedom, and then you'll taste a little bit more and a little bit more. And before you know it, you've got your whole plan laid out. And then guess what? You got a place to live. You got your own car. You got your own money. You got your own cell phone. You got your own email accounts. You send the divorce papers or you take your stuff and you walk out of the house and you say, 
see you later. And that's all you say because they don't need to know your plan. Only you need to know your plan and put it together in motion quietly and don't tell a lot of people, only tell a few people. And I am honest to goodness serious. If you just want to tell me your plan, do it. I am, I am, I am promising you that I will keep your secret safe with me because I know what you're going through. But the other side is so refreshing and so amazing and so beautiful and you deserve to be there too. So start putting some stuff in motion secretly, okay? Don't let anybody know and watch everything start coming together and pray, you know, if, you, if you're a manifester, if you're, if you're a faithful person, whatever you gotta do, you've got so many people that will fight for you. Pray about it, manifest it, meditate on it, whatever you gotta do, write yourself a journal, write yourself a, or do yourself a, a, a vision board, whatever the case may be, but never stop believing that you will escape, okay? I love you all and I want you to stay strong because you've got this. Every one of us has the strength we just got to get past the fear and you can do it. All right. Love and light to all of you. I'll be back soon.